The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. I know, our favorite day of the week, right? But a holiday week coming up here. We got a holiday weekend, so keep your eyes on the prize. And after a brutally hot weekend this last weekend, featuring 100 degrees yesterday, the big heat bubble is shifting away. But rain chances are really increasing, especially today and tomorrow as a frontal system dives into the state. I'll update you on your trends for the rest of the week, your rain chances and how they vary from day to day as we get closer to the 4th of July weekend. And before we get into your weather briefing this morning, let me say a thing or two about lightning. Can I? Over the weekend, another woman killed. Uh, this time in Daytona Beach, two other people taken to the hospital when they were struck by lightning. They thought the storm was gone. The sun came out. And the storm had moved away and they were killed. Remember this, if you can hear thunder, if you're close enough to hear thunder, you can be struck by lightning. It could be sunny. The storm could be six miles away from you and you can still be struck and killed by lightning. And uh, 4th of July weekend is the biggest weekend of the year for lightning related deaths. So this is going to be a big week. And by the way, we're going to see a lot of lightning this week. Here is your morning weather briefing. The big heat bubble shifts to the western states today, and after 100 yesterday and it looks like 95 today, frontal systems will be able to slide into Alabama on the back side of that heat bubble, so the uh, frontal system in the Midwest will be the main weather maker, the catalyst for showers and thunderstorms in Alabama later today and especially tomorrow across the area as it moves into the state. And the Storm Prediction Center says ahead of that front, a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms, especially over the northern half of the state today and this evening, uh, and then uh, showers and thunderstorms likely tomorrow. This is one future radar at 4 o'clock this afternoon, suggesting an active day in north Alabama and west and southwest Alabama and quieter in the eastern counties. Don't take that as gospel. That's just one idea. Scattered showers and thunderstorms today, a more active day with a high around 95, heat index 100 to 104, tonight's low 76. Tomorrow, a better chance of showers and thunderstorms as the front actually edges into the state and tries to make it all the way down to the coast. So a good chance that most of us are going to get wet, a few of the storms on the strong side. There's the front Wednesday morning down near the coast, so the storms behind it in central Alabama will start to thin out on Wednesday and maybe a few isolated storms on Thursday, but temperatures will be a little bit more reasonable by then probably in the lower uh, 90s, widely scattered storms on Friday as we start the 4th of July weekend, and there'll be some scattered storms around uh, over the um, Saturday time period, and it looks like the better chances will be down towards the beach on Saturday and maybe a, an increase on Sunday. So 91 is your high tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms densely populated across the area. Maybe the storm thinning out through a 30% chance Wednesday and a 20% chance Thursday and Friday with temperatures in the lower 90s by then. And then looking ahead to the 4th of July, so far it looks pretty turbulent. Looks like a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms on the 4th of July, but we'll keep an eye on it. We're a week away from that, and we'll refine that forecast as we get closer. Here's a look at the um, European out 10 days showing the spike in showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow. And then storms thinning out later in the week. Then it says showers and thunderstorms increasing again over the weekend, especially by Sunday and 4th of July, Monday. And the temperatures on the European are much more reasonable, so we'll go with this. Mid-90s today, uh, near 90 tomorrow with showers and storms increasing. And then it looks like temperatures will uh, start to peak again towards the weekend. But notice the lower temperatures on the 4th of July. That's because of the increase of showers and thunderstorms, which should be rather densely populated. Hey, keep in mind, some of these summertime thunderstorms can really get out of hand. And I mean uh, almost continuous thunder and lightning and uh, torrential rainfall and winds that can bring down tree limbs and power outages, that kind of stuff, and yet still not be classified as severe thunderstorm. I get people saying all the time, hey, my weather radio never went off. We had the worst thunderstorm I've ever seen in my whole life, and they didn't issue a severe thunderstorm warning. That's because you have to have winds of 58 miles per hour or one inch hail. If you don't have that, I don't care how awful the storm was, it's not severe. That's the, the, de that's the definition. Hey, we'll be live from the Blue Water Weather Center at 11 o'clock this morning with an update, a fresh update on new information, especially as we go towards that big holiday weekend, biggest outdoor weekend of the year. My forecast will be all day long on the entire Blue Water family of radio stations, and I'll be live this morning on KISS FM and uh, Bama Country, and starting at 6 o'clock on News Talk 93.1 WACV.
Hope you have a great day today. Another video tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.